Hello, and here I'm going to teach you how to do a simple Google search and how to not only search Google but how to filter the results to get the best result for you uh, in relation to what you're actually searching for. So, what we're going to do is we're going to search for uh, Woo Commerce Shipping. Now, Woo Commerce Shipping ha has changed over the past. Uh, six months because all your plugins are always upgraded, um, and the and some of the plugins that and, and even WordPress itself have a different user interface with each upgrade, and with the shipping uh, shipping with uh, with WooCommerce has complete been completely redone. WooCommerce was purchased a while you know maybe over well over a year ago by WordPress. And so it's, it's been undergoing a lot of changes in the last 12 months. So when you're searching for help, for anything, like, I mean, I, I, I redid my bathroom and I, I had to learn how to do tiles and had learn how to, um, how to waterproof the floor and all this sort of stuff. And so I basically just search for YouTube and, and watch videos of other people explaining how you have to do everything. And so pretty much anything, as long as you know the right words to use, you can basically search for how to bake a cake, how to um, how to wrap a present. You, you can think of anything you can search for as long as you learn how to search. So the first thing you're going to do is go to search tools after you've done a search and then look for any time. Now if you know that something's been upgraded in the past month, you can click uh, past month. Okay, if you know that sometimes you're not going to get the results you need. Okay, so what you can do is past year. Okay, and then you can actually see the, the dates. So, what you want to do is you want to find out when, uh, when something was upgraded and look for something after that date. If you know the interface has changed quite a bit. Or if just whatever you're searching for, you're looking for the best thing. And that's basically how you do that. I'm going to quickly show you also how to, how to actually find free images on the internet. Now, one of the things that any of my clients will tell you that I despise as clip art images or images that so obviously look fake and so obviously look like stock images. So uh, running with dogs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on image search and you'll see here this is a natural photo. This is, you know, it's a stock image but it looks reasonably natural. That's a natural photo. But now you want to, what you want to look for for using it is usage rights, labelled for reuse. And that means that whoever's created them has, has obviously not even bothered to, to copyright the image. So there's all these free images on the internet. And it's too late if they copyright it later because if you've used it before they've, they've set up a copyright, that's their problem, not yours. So anyway. You, I've got past year here, so I can just say any time and all the results will be different. So what you want to look for is a really good quality photo, something like this. This is a good one as well. And you want to look for the size. So you might want a large image for your website. So you click large. Okay, this is a good image. Okay. I, I tend to prefer the wide, wider screen images um, uh, rather than the, these images because they just don't format well with any blog post. Okay. So you can see some great great photos you know that you can use and the commons Wiki, wikimedia is is fr free to use i would always still put a little credit to anyone if you can find who they were on any on the use of anything um, now if you want to save an image a really smart thing to do is to save the image so here we go here and then if i wanted to uh, save the image um, what i do is i click for the um, Sorry, I should have uh, view image. I, I view the image, and then you click on it, and that's a large size. And then I save it, and what I do is I save the image as, and I change the name of it to the blog post or whatever. Okay, um, so that's I, I ch and and you can do that by just simply clicking here and changing the name of the image. And if it's got a J dot JPEG at the end, don't change that part. Because that's the that's the formatting part. But if it doesn't, you can just change that text, okay? And that's all you need to do. That's how you you know that's a simple way of, of doing things. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing now, but with um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do WooCommerce shipping again, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to copy that because I'm going to go to YouTube. Okay. So what I click is on a video and then I look for a YouTube. Okay. Now, I'm just, I, I don't really need to do, oops, sorry. Uh, I've got to look for something that's that's on YouTube. It, it, so you can see by the URL that's YouTube. So I click on that and I'll go to the YouTube video. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I mean, you can do this directly from YouTube if you want. But what I'm going to do is select WooCommerce Shipping and then I'm going to select Filters. Again, you've got this option. Okay. So whether you whether you want whether you're learning anything, what you want to do is you want to learn about something that's recent. So whether you're um, whether you're doing uh, you're trying to find out how to use a new a new product that you've just purchased, like we can go with uh, uh, Olympus TG Tracker. Okay, that's a reasonably new camera. Okay, and then you get all these things here. So what I want is I want um, I want to learn how to use this. So more than likely, it's going to be a longer video. Okay, so that's a longer video. And then what I do is this year, because it was released this year. Okay, and then I've got to basically go down and filter what I need. Okay, um, there you go. So this, and you can see this one's obviously in a different language. So what you want to do is, um, What you want to do is you want to find something for this year, for in Olympus TG Tracker, and it will tell you when it was when it was released, and you can find out all you need to know about that action camera, for, which I've actually got, and it's a great little camera by the way. But um, uh, but what you can do is you can find out how to do something, uh, how to use that product, or th there's there's things called unboxing videos. Okay. And this is an unboxing video where someone opens the box. And I actually use these. Um, it, it's quite handy because when, when you open a box, sometimes you feel like, oh, geez, what, I wonder what all these things are for. These sort of people, and they're very popular. Um, some of them, you know, this one's got 15,000 views. This one's got 6,000. If I, if I went with the, if I went to um, iPhone 7 unboxing, and you can look for unboxing and review or unboxing and you'll look some of the seven million views just for somebody who's opening a box okay it sounds ridiculous and it is uh, however people want to know how to ha, what the new things are with it how to how to get it set up what sometimes it tells you that all the first things to do with when you bought a new product what are the first things to do to make it better for yourself okay so that's basically how you also do a YouTube YouTube search. So use the filtering in in uh, the search the search tools and the filtering in YouTube and uh, in Google search and also in YouTube. It is invaluable, and you can learn pretty much anything. Okay, thank you.